Yeah. People drive at the same speed. Yeah. Am I taking a receipt? No. All weather vehicles. How will they hire? It's 10 o'clock. I'll bring this uh, meeting back to order. Uh, order of business is a hearing on deliberations and decision about the uh, amendments to the comprehensive plan in Chapter 18.18 of the Jefferson County Code for the Irondale Port Hadlock Urban Growth Area Compliance Action. So, for staff. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Let's turn to Joel Peterson, uh, Project Planner for the Urban Growth Area. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, the board. Um, I'm going to, at its, its most narrow perspective, what we're doing today is a public hearing on specific actions that the uh, Planning Commission has reviewed and the Department of Community Development has taken to make amendments to the comprehensive plan and to the development regulations to be compliant with the Growth Management Act. Looking broadly, um, I'd like to just take a couple of minutes to frame uh, the planning that's gone on in Jefferson County for an urban growth area and then um, show you, uh, some detailed language that we want you to uh, look at before the hearing starts and then after the hearing we'll be uh, going into the deliberations. So Jefferson County plans under the growth Man State Growth Management Act and um, that provides guidelines not to restrict growth but how we grow um, rather than expanding our local areas of more intense rural development, our landlords, or our community crossroads. The Growth Management Act says plan for um, your highest urban development in areas that you can provide urban services to. And um, there are some specific guidelines in how we do that with GMA, and these have proven to be difficult to follow in our UGA planning as far as how to provide urban services and getting an unincorporated urban growth area up and running. Incorporated entities um, are kind of automatically urban growth areas, such as Port Townsend City, as an example in Jefferson County. Um, they don't have to go under the scrutiny of GMA planning as an unincorporated UGA does. Jefferson County is one of the most unaffordable counties in the state of Washington based on median income and median housing costs. An urban growth area provides us a chance to um, put into place the densities that are required to do more affordable housing projects. Also, Jefferson County loses a lot of uh, sales tax income in what we call retail leakage to surrounding counties. Um, we don't have the infrastructure in place to develop uh, the commercial entities that we may be able to with uh, sewer. So um, there was some analysis that was done with the community eco the curb lift program, the community um, revival revitalization board, and we were looking at the the um, value added nature of having urban development in Port Hadlock and Irondale. And this was a way to quantify potential sales tax revenue and for employment um, scenarios where we would be keeping some more um, of our, our net value in the county by having an employment center in the UGA. So this issue, what I'm, what I'm saying is this issue is very broad and it's beyond just uh, the sewer. But the sewer is the last urban the urban facility that we need to add to the UGA to be a compliant urban growth area. So, turning to the sewer, not all of the UGA can be sewered at once. It's a 20-year plan for sewering the Iron Dale Port Hadlock UGA from the planning period of 2004 to 2024. Within that 20-year plan, we have phased areas for sewer implementation, <coughs> beginning with the commercial core moving up the uh, Rody Drive area, residential areas near the commercial core, and last um, by 2024 in the Irondale area. So these are the phased <coughs> service areas. Uh, the Planning Commission has been meeting since last year on these compliance issues. We have two remaining compliance issues with the Growth Management Hearings Board, the Western Washington Growth Management Hearings Board, um, in their compliance order. and those were to provide a capital facilities plan and sewer implementation plan, which was done in public works and adopted by Department of Health and Department of Ecology late last year. 
and we are asking that you adopt this sewer plan as the general sewer plan into the comprehensive plan. A lot of plans. <laughs> and then um, the next item was to show our work on our land use plan in the UGA, which we have done through uh, the services of Eric Taves of Cascadia Community Planning Services, and um, have done a dwelling unit and population holding capacity analysis. <coughs> so the last thing I want to say before turning it back to you is um, some you have received the proposed lining line out text in, with the agenda request. Um, there have been a couple of typographical changes to make since then. Um, someone had pointed out that um, there was some old code text that didn't get changed as the Planning Commission and DCD have gone through this trying to rid of this concept that we had begun with in 2004 of optional sewer air, sewer service areas. That's not GMA compliant. You cannot develop at urban densities without sewer. So um, there were a couple points in the text that we missed and needed to clarify. So I printed out the line in line out again and wanted to point out three places where there are these minor text changes. So I'll hand this to start out. And <clears throat> and there, I have extra copies available um, for the I just want to point out in on page 11, in table 3A-2, these are the, um, the development density standards for the UGA. There is a note in the table that begins with the language standard densities apply <coughs> to development with connection required to sanitary sewer service system. And I simply added text in two places, the following sentence, therefore standard density in the ULDR, that's the urban low density residential zone, inside critical aquifer recharge areas and outside of the 20 year phased sewer service area, and the text added is, where sewer service is available, is approximately 3.5 dwelling units per acre. The following, um, let's see what I have is, Inside uh, critical area recharge areas and outside of, and then my 20 years is crossed out. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's, that's outside the same as phased uh, sewer. That's the same as you received with the agenda request. The only text that was added is the underlying text where sewer service is available. 